in this video we take a look at how to create an annual harvest banner like this in photoshop and this is coming up hey everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel if you're new here please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here thank you so much for showing up so yes a link to download the resources that i'll be using for this tutorial will be in the description kindly download practice and send it to me on ig now let's get into photoshop and let's get started to start off with this we're going to create a very simple banner so we're going to create a three by five feet banner so we go to file and then new and then you can create a new banner but then photoshop doesn't give you in feet so you have to convert your feet into banner i took time to explain this particular video in a whole full video you can check it out in the description so what you have to do is to convert your feet into any of these measuring skills over here now i prefer to go with inches as it is quite simple 12 inches is equal to one feet so if i want five feet for the width all that i'm going to do is multiply 12 by 5 and then i'm going to get 60 inches over there and then for the height i want to use three feet so i'm going to multiply 3 by 12 and i'm going to get 36 inches over there it is quite simple but then you realize something from here the image size is very very big when you use the inches because it is a big a big banner okay so what you have to do is if you don't want your machine to lag if your machine is very very quite strong you can use 300 but then if you don't want it to lag you can reduce it to about 72 or let's say a maximum of 100 so that you can just click ok and then your machine won't lag once the document is ready we go into the resource files that we have i got this wheat field background from free pick i'll leave a link to download it and i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop the idea the concept behind this is harvest okay so i'm using this as the background the main background so i'm going to open it up to fill the entire document like that and it's already blurred out so you don't really have to apply any sort of blur to it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push it down a little bit like that and i can place it right over here something quite simple like that now let's go into the resources again i have two other things so i got this harvest fruit also from google and i'm going to use them so i'm going to drag and drop this one inside of photoshop as well so right over there and i'm going to place it at the extreme right corner of this document so i'll place it over here and i can take time to make it a bit smaller like that now i double click on that the color seems to be blending with the background okay but we will apply some compositioning so don't worry so i'll right click and rasterize i'll press ctrl and then l and then i can apply a bit of levels today so that it can kind of be quite different from the background and then i'll click ok next i'll go into the resources again and i have the second harvest fruit so i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop as well and i want to place it at the extreme right top so i'll send it to the right top over here i want to rotate it so i'll right click flip it vertical so that it rotates and then i can take my cursor to the extreme right and i can rotate it like this i can go ahead and then transform it to be a little smaller and then i can push it to the very top over there and that'll be pretty much it for the background so we're not going to add any sort of background let's go to the main background rasterize it press ctrl l and let's add a bit of levels to it so that it can be a bit darker like that and you can go ahead and click ok so the rest of the things you know harvest is more of test and then shapes so we're going to apply a bit of shapes and test so let's group all of these ones and we can call that the background all right so the next thing that we're going to do is over here i've grouped all my tests according to how i arranged it so i'm going to select and paste all of them so i'll select the first one which is the methodist church so i go for the test tool here and the first font we'll be using about four fonts in this video but the first font that we're going to use is called poppins you know poppins is my favorite so i'll left click over there and i'm going to paste what i copied right over there so i'm going to select it all 
go to the color palette over here and i can change the color now i want to use a color from this so that the design can blend so i'll pick a color from here right over there so i'll use the color picker to pick the color from there and i can click ok ok i'll press ctrl a and then i can center it like that and position it on top here so the method is church ghana ebenezer society and the next thing that we want to bring in over there is you can sort of add present or invite you to their annual harvest that depends solely on you but i decided to go straight forward with this tutorial so the next thing is annual harvest and you're going to copy that and the fonts that we are going to use for that it is the main center of attraction so you need to get a font that is quite either bold or quite unique to bring the attention that is the focal point okay so i'm going to use a font called hevetica inserat it is a very bold font so hevetica inserat and i'm going to paste that and we are still maintaining the color so you can press ctrl t and then you can transform this to be a bit bigger remember it is the center of attraction it is the focal point so you have to make it quite bigger for everyone to see it so annual harvest and then you can take time to position it just like that let me zoom in the more so that you can see exactly what you're doing you have to make sure as well that you press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered we are making sure that this is centered as well and then you can go into the test here and then we can copy and thanksgiving and that's i'm going to use a font called Aston script so i told you we are using about four fonts and we've used three so far let's see how that goes so i'm going to paste that one so annual harvest and thanksgiving and you can press ctrl t transform that one also as well and then you can make sure that that is also centered so control a and then you center it like that and then you give it a space like that so it reads annual harvest and thanksgiving so the next thing that we want to add is the theme and then for the theme we want to use a very simple test but we have to give it a background that is going to separate it from the actual background so i decided to go for this rounded rectangle and then you can create a rounded rectangle over here something quite simple like that but we don't want the color the color is not so nice so let's double click on the layer thumbnail and let's pick this color but then the very dark one and click ok from there we can bring it down press ctrl a to center it and then we can decrease the opacity so you can use this to drag it to the very side you have to make it transparent to the background and i'm going to make sure that it is 80 percent or let's even try 90 90 is quite okay so 85 let's see 85 you can use the numeric key on your keyboard to do that as well and on top of that you're going to place the theme so let's go into the resources and the theme is from proverbs chapter 11 verse 25 so we're going back to our font poppins so let's select poppins from here okay so let's select poppins and then we can paste it right over there you're going to select it all and i'm going to give the color yellow so let me go for the color yellow from the banana okay right over there and let's try to increase that one to medium press ctrl t to transform it like that and then you can push it to the rounded rectangle over here so we want to kind of differentiate the theme and then the test from this one so we're going to select the theme from here and then we're going to change the color to white and we click ok so we will do the same thing for the other side which is the verse so i'll select the verse and then i'm going to select this all and change the color to white once that is done i think we are good with the theme so the next thing that we want to add will be the date the venue and then the time and you see the background is already kind of kind of complex but it makes the design very good so we're going to try to keep the date the time and then the venue as simple as possible no icon or whatsoever so what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce my fourth font which is going to be acrobat so i'll pick my test tool and then i'm going to change this one to acrobat and then i'll change the color to kind of the dark black here so let's go for the dark black here and then let's go into our resource or our test we have the first one which is going to be 
sunday 29th of november 2020 and i'll copy and paste that so i'm going to change the boldness to bold and i'm going to set this one to around 30 okay let's let's try to increase it a bit but let's first of all open the toggle character and close the leading from here and from there we can increase the size as well so something like this let's open it up a bit more like that and we have this one but you can realize from here that if you look at it this way you can't really see it so let's go to the blending option right click go to the blending options and then we can add a bit of stroke around it so let's add a stroke here and we're going to change the color to white and we're going to increase the stroke so we want the white to be around it so that it can be seen from it now anytime you want to see whether your design can actually be seen at the print what you can do is you can press it for the zoom and then you can right click and click on actual pixels so if you check the actual pixels this is how your design is going to look like when it is printed so you can fit to the screen when it fits to the screen sometimes you can't really see it that much so you can use the actual pixels to check if it can be seen correctly afterwards you can position it to the left extreme left here and then you make a duplicate by pressing ctrl and then j so ctrl j make a duplicate you can slide it to the extreme right and then you go into your test we have the next one which is the venue and then you can copy and paste that one here as well make another duplicate by pressing ctrl j drag it to the right again and go into your resource you have the time over there so you copy and then you can paste now once you are done with all of these you can make sure or you have to make sure that the intervals here are quite okay similar and then you can select all of these ones press ctrl g to group them you can call it the date time and then venue or let's say the date here so you can select that one press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered the last thing that you want to add will be the names of the pastor and then the church elders and to do that we want to do something similar to what we did to the theme so we go for a rectangle here and then we can create a rectangle like that so we're going to use the black color it's not that much black but the dark version of this wine so something like this and then we can decrease the opacity to 80 as well so that it creates that sort of transparency over there so you press ctrl a and then you can center it and then you can start typing your test on top of this one now you make sure that you don't write straight into this particular rectangle so i can go for my test tool and we'll go back for popping so you don't write straight into the rectangle so you can create the test around here let's go for poppings again and let's choose medium from here so let's select this one the font style let's choose medium and go into the test copy the first one so that will be the name of the minister in charge you paste it select it all and then you can turn the color back to white and you can bring it over here so you press ctrl t transform it to be a bit smaller because we want to put about three names or so over there so you can make it quite smaller so that all the names can fit into that particular rectangle afterwards you press ctrl j to make a duplicate slide it to the right side and then you can go for the second one which is going to be in this case the stewards so you paste it right over there like i was saying you have to make sure that they are quite smaller so that they can fit and then you make the last duplicate drag it to the side and then you know what to do right so copy and paste so you push it over here and since they are out of the frame or out of the rectangle that we created you can select all of them press ctrl t and then you can transform it to be a bit smaller if you want you can press ctrl g to group that press ctrl a so that you can know that it is in the center exactly so you can take time to position that right over there and from here that means that you can also select the rectangle and then you can close it a bit to fit exactly what you've created over there and the last thing that we add to this design will be the logo so inside here i have the methodist logo i didn't get one without a background so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop 
and then i'm going to remove the background myself so i'll double click over here click ok go for my magic wand tool and then i can make a selection here you see create this selection over there i hold shift so that i can create multiple selections so i select here and then i can select here as well i make the selection around the four corners and then i can hit on delete and then it's gone i can right click on this one convert it to a smart object so that it doesn't lose its quality and then i can send it to our main document press ctrl t to open it up like that and then i can position this over here and yes i think that will be all anything that you want to add to this whole thing for instance this part if you feel like this is too confusing for you you can actually add a bit of kind of uh, drop shadow to this part but if you feel like this is okay let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well and that wraps it up for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch let me know your comments your thoughts suggestions corrections in the comment section you take all of them and then we use it to make this channel better also let me know in the comment section what you want to see on the channel next and that will be pretty much it thank you so much once again for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye